Well, it's uh, April 15th here, and uh, I'm going to do some ripping tomorrow. Some of you might think I'm crazy. Why are you ripping bean ground? I'll get into that here in a little bit. You can probably hear it's windy. Uh, it's supposed to get up to like 50 today. Um, and then maybe 60 tomorrow, and tomorrow is when I plan on doing it. And hopefully it'll be a little firmer by tomorrow afternoon. But if not, I just still think I can make it work, what I'm dealing with right now. Well, I got that uh, five shank uh, DMI ripper behind the 8440 here. That's what we used to pull it with. It works great, picks it plenty high up, tractor's light. Should be able to skirt across that bean stubble for that project I'm gonna do. Um, had to swing home here, grab something to drink, and then also get my windows clean because uh, I can't be doing this project with dirty windows. What would people think? Kind of back up on the field here the next day. It The snow has gone down considerably. The field has uh, firmed up considerably. Um, I got the big man upstairs looking out for me. So what uh, I'm just kind of trying to figure out if I'm going to lay out. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm going to write something in the field with that because um, by no means is it planting time. Uh, it's not, you would pull up a lot of mud if you're gonna actually try to work ground. Nobody's working ground, but they're gonna think I'm crazy out here. But I'm trying to, I think I'm gonna write it this way and then two lines. And then, uh, cause if I get off this hill too much, it gets a little wetter, but I'm gonna try to stay on this hill. Um, but this is gonna be, this is gonna work perfect. And uh, it's a beautiful day out. And uh, let's see if I can't get to writing. So the other day um, I had gotten up from a night shift and uh, I was trying to write a birthday card with a big marker and I, I had a, somewhat of a brain fart. I'm like trying to figure out which way an S went or I can't remember what letter. I was like, you know, it's just the things that you do automatically and then you start doing it differently. Instead of a pen, it was a big marker. And uh, now today, instead of a big marker or a pencil, my pencil is a five shank ripper and, uh, and, I'm, and I'm driving a tractor. And uh, as I'm trying to write this, I'm like, I cannot screw this up, right? Um, so what did I do? I printed it out, right? And I put it up in the cab with me. So if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm doing a proposal by writing in the field. And uh, that's what I'm gonna try to write so I can remember. All my movements are gonna be blocks. So my R is gonna be square and out. There's no be any rounds, right? Because if you do that, it's hard on the ripper. Um, so that's my guide, so I can remember. Kind of running into a little bit of water here. So you can see my top of my, where we're at right now is the U of U. And uh, it's not gonna be quite the same length. I ran into that over there on the S in this area, which is, I just gotta deal with it. It's no problem. Um, it's still gonna look really cool, I think. It's turning out really well. If I go through that water too much, then I just start, um, I just start mudding. Like I make tracks with the tires, and then the definition of the, uh, the the definition of the letter is sacrificed. So I would rather have a little bit not proportional letters and not such a mess to the mud. I do have a little bit of that right here. I was on a side hill with some snow, and I ended up sliding. But the letter, you're still going to be able to tell what it says. So it's working up really nicely. Here's our ends. Now we just got to connect it on the 80. So maybe you can make it out. There's the Y, O, and then I'm going to make the bottom part of the U here. And, uh, we're going to have ourselves a Rose Will You, and then it's going to do the next line down, be Marry Me, on this little area right here. Slow down here. Ooh, a little bouncy. Bouncy, but no problem. I'm trying to work with the lay of the land and where it's water sitting and where it's a little wet. Um, this is taking all my concentration, so I haven't filled the whole lot, but uh, we're getting lined back up on the opposite end. So you can maybe make it out here. There's the RO. S-E for rows. Um, yeah, 
there you can maybe make it out. We're working our way back down, we're gonna start the M for Barry, down in this corner. And I do have to wait a couple of days because it's gonna rain, and I needed to get it done today, and we're both off of work this Saturday. So I'll, and it's gonna be 70 degrees and no sun, or no wind. So what the plan is in theory, <clears throat> is uh, Saturday supposed to be beautiful. 70, no wind, like it was meant to be. I've been checking the weather so much in the last couple weeks trying to find a stretch that this would work with both of our schedules. I don't even think if Noah had this technology that he would have checked it this much while he was building the ark. So uh, I've been checking it a lot and so far so good. Um, so what I've done is Saturday is I rented a plane and a pilot uh, and what I'm gonna tell her so that she hopefully doesn't queue on um, is, I've been hinting that I'll wait till summer to ask her, you know, we've been talking about it. Um, it's not a secret or anything, but that's why I'm trying so hard to surprise her. So what I'm gonna tell her is that uh, Soil and Water, um, they want me to make a YouTube video on the number of people that didn't do any tillage last fall with their corn stalks. And they wanna send me up in a plane so I can take a couple videos and pictures of all the fields that weren't worked and that, well there's enough room so I asked if I could bring her and they said absolutely so we're gonna make a date day out of it and uh, we're hopefully gonna fly out here she knows nobody's in the field um, I'm not sending her any snapchats today or anything um, but she knows there's no farmers in the field and it's, and it's gonna rain this week so she won't suspect that I've been in the field with any luck we're gonna fly over I'm gonna look out and I'm gonna say well, look at that that farmer obviously got in the field and then she'll look out and BAM so that's what uh, hopefully is gonna happen I even did the uh, comma after Rose cuz uh, what would her family think if I didn't use punctuation when writing this question in the field with a five shank ripper you got to use punctuation so check back in a second I gotta say the uh, whole uh, measure twice cut once whatever you want to say it I really honestly this isn't cliche I only get one chance at this um, I got about 20 acres of this field in one big area I mean there's chunk I mean 75% of it's dry but in terms of where to write it a sentence I got about 20 acres that I'm gonna be working with here um, I only get one chance to do this which is kind of good because uh, I'm kind of a believer that you get one chance at marriage so better you know, hopefully you pick the right one I'm not saying that's the case for everyone but uh, that's just kind of my beliefs but uh, that's why I got this because I'm like make sure my R's go this way and then this and then the S's and then the you know it just otherwise you're sitting there and you're spinning around turning this way that way and you don't know at what point of the S you're in and then all of a sudden you make it the wrong way you can't erase so trying to be very very meticulous um, that's why I'm not filming much um, you can't really see much anyways but uh, yeah making uh, the E here the last E we are fighting through a little bit of mud here not bad Let's see if I left a little tracks over there but all in all So we got a good uh, square edge for the E. I'm gonna run down here and do the bottom of the E. I don't have any GPS or anything, so what I'm, you know, I can see for the most part. It's a little, you know, it's a little rolling. The ground's a little rolling, so it's kind of somewhat hard to see, but. I can't have a map to show me exactly what I'm drawing, so I just kind of eye up with where I set it up there, which is right about in this ballpark. So what we're gonna do is right, we're just gonna call it, and then uh, now we gotta do a question mark. So I gotta get started, and then I have to start up here on the top of the E. Boy, I bet you it's all 60 degrees right now. It's absolutely beautiful out. Um, and stuff's firming up. We lost a lot of snow yesterday and today, so. But you can see there's still snow along the road, so. I think everyone knows how nosy farmers are too, but uh, I'm 
our story or my storyline that I'm telling people is that uh, I'm filling in washouts. This field's got a couple of washouts <laughs> that I just want to fill in here before uh, we get going. And uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it and hopefully people buy it just long enough for me to get what I got to get done done. Okay, it's uh, April 19th here. Back out in the field where I ripped that in the field. And uh, the day after I did it, 3.8 inches of rain in this field. So it, it definitely uh, pounded the field. There's some dirt that ran, but uh, you know they dried out where I ripped, dried out because the wind's been blowing, the sun's out now. Um, but the bean stubble's kind of wet, so it's gonna dry. Tomorrow morning's a big day, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, I'm still really happy with it. I just came out to double check it, and I still think it looks pretty good for the most part. And uh, it looks like I got my bottom half of my Y here underwater, but it might go down by tomorrow. We'll see. So if you can make it out, here's the top of a, a Y. And then in my middle of it is supposed to go through that water. So that's uh, that's new. Um, it is what it is. So we'll still be able to make it out. And it's just what Mother Nature dealt me. And who knows, maybe the water will go down uh, overnight, but uh, maybe not. That's farming though. Rarely does things go perfectly to plan. And uh, if this little bit of this letter is covered, you know, so be it. So I'm still really happy. I'm still really excited. I'm anxious. I still got to work one more night tonight and then go tomorrow. And uh, my now girlfriend, hopefully soon to be fiance, watches these videos. So if you're watching, sweetie, here we go. I've only flown twice commercially and once in a helicopter, never in a small fixed loop plane like this before. Um, and he mentioned it was kind of rough out there under a thousand feet, but he's a flight instructor. He did a great job and uh, I thought he had a great control of the plane and did really well. So very thankful for a good pilot. Well, no doubt that the uh, four inches of rain definitely faded it a little bit, but uh, we had a pretty bright sun that day. Um, you could see it very well from the side and upside down. Um, she actually was able to see it without me pointing it out the normal way. Um, but it was just hard to get a good picture with the way the sun was. So there you can see it. I flipped it just so it's easier for you guys to see it. That's about how she read it. And then it's uh, there's the last half. The U's covered up with the plane wing. So I also took one picture and I did some editing to it. I made it darker so that maybe it will pop a little bit more for you guys. I kind of had to make it pan across just the way the picture was taken. It won't let me do a full screen view, but uh, I thought it turned out well and I definitely got the point across, so score. Well, hats off to uh, Quality Aviation. I gotta say that uh, I was thoroughly impressed with the skill level of our pilot. His name was Randy. I believe he said his last name was Crystal. Um, it was definitely really windy out there and I never felt like he um, didn't have control of the plane and quite honestly, it was a lot smoother than I was expecting it to be, but that just goes to show his skill level, so very thankful for him. But I wasn't gonna skip out on actually dropping down to one knee and asking her, and uh, I had to kind of laugh and uh, find it ironic that the plane we used, and I didn't plan this, had the uh, John Deere paint scheme uh, with some stripes on it. Still really windy. It, um but hola <laughs> it's a little lighter than I would anticipate in the sky but it worked really well upside down which is about my luck <laughs> but regardless she it said yes readable. we're getting married Woo! Woo! Woo I'm showing her the pencil that I used <laughs> it's, it's not your typical pencil it's not a pencil it worked this is a farmer's pencil <laughs> boom without GPS <laughs> old school for a full set. Okay. Full set of safety glasses. Oh, yeah. Save your eyes. Oh! Look oh. out! Look out! Rose isn't going. Shake it! Shake it! Shake it!